don't forget to like this video on your way in. Did a decent job in the fight, but I did forget about my own traps. Now, where is that guy? I told you that guy is useless. He's never there when you need him. And even when he is there, right, he couldn't take down that little enemy. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the system, heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. Uh-oh. Will there be any enemies down here? That is the question. But we are gonna go down here. I'm close. I have to be. We'll drop down. Let me go ahead and take this. Nothing to the left. And we've got another one of these. New data point. So in case anybody wants to read that, I'll make sure to show it, pause it, and you won't have to miss any of these gems. Please be here. It's here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brew the vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Thou shalt not steal super advanced terraforming system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. It couldn't be that easy. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sometimes you know but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads Farl. but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me 
Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of the house. What? Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh-oh. Don't tell me we're bringing back what we don't want. Now, how are we going to get up there? That is the question.
but let's take a look real quick. We got to get all the way up there. How in the world are we going to do that? I might be able to climb up the scaffolding at the base of the spire. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Okay, you got to press circle to jump back. So the buttons are a little bit different. And then we're going to climb up like so. Circle again, not X. Then climb up like so. Balance like a boss. Uh-oh, now what? Oh, we have to pull that. Hey. There we go. Nice. And now hop to it. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. Looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. Alright, so we didn't go the right way. We'll go to the right. See what's on the right hand side. Huh. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? Well, how do we get there though? That's huh. the thing. Oh, she's gonna do that! I didn't expect her to do that. An elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. Nice. Lucky day. Engaging maintenance configuration. Wonder what the Karja will make of this. Look at that. <laughs> this thing just looks evil. There's the note. Finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. Or why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Ain't that some BS? Varl and Marad know what I 
I've found. Spiral? But how? Aloy always has a way of doing the incredible. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. The way you two attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Uh... Oh. Is... that a statue of me? New. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Eat them in. Care? Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Eat them in. What do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Talk to your friends. So let's do that, then we'll go get the workbench. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asuram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. I... I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time, to 
get to know each other properly, perhaps. Flashpoints offer emotional... You know what? She kind of deserves some compassion. She kind of deserves that, you know, after everything she's going through. So we might go with this. It's a nice thought. Now is not... Now is definitely not the time, but we could let it fly, right? We'll let them know. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But... This mission... It's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. What other friends can I talk to before we head up out of here? Looks like a memorial. Ah. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Ah. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. What is this? Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Come back to the Alight. There. A workbench. Uthid. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it. But inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. 
Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Oh, how last night go? <laughs> So it's been crafted, but I need the blast skill in order to use this bad boy. Don't blow your blade. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. With the melee attacks to build up energy, and then when it's fully charged, you tap it. It's time to get up out of here. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. She got him leaning. Leave him without him. She tricked him. She wants no help. Wow, these graphics are just ridiculous. This world? I wonder how big this map is going to be.
We went on a serious vacation. Sparks to steal. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Uh -oh. Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. Of course our plans are not gonna go as planned. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. Way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll? Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? 
to the top of the ridge to wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Upgrading the bow, I think, is what we're going to do first. And we've got a long way to go. Take everything along the way. Oh, this is a save. That's a save spot. All right, so... We're gonna give it a shot. I'm creeping up on it. Got it. Take that. That thing is on alert. It's so funny that you can track where they're gonna go. Because they're machines. Uh-oh, that thing is looking. I'm quiet. Don't worry about me. There's nothing over here. How did he not see me? Oh, wait. I could have silenced strike. Got it. We'll do that. We'll take that. The savior? It's Wanna the come savior. in, savior? Welcome to Chain Scrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jorf's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy. What are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah. Of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Let's take care of the bow. And there it is. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you.
So we have two weapon upgrades. We've got a trap crafting and an outfit upgrade. The hunter bow. So we'll go ahead and get the first one. First level. Acid hunter arrows. And the second level, do we have enough for it? It kind of looks like we do. Look at that. We can go to the second level. So why not let it fly? You know, upgrade this. Why not? We'll let that fly. That came in handy in one of those fights. If we're increasing resistance, let's do it. And we can do it again to level two. Concentration regen plus two. And ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak. All right, so this is a good place to end this episode right in the city. Don't forget to like this video on your way out. What the hell is that? Run, buddy, run. Why are you saying what it is? I can't move. Damn. Look at how many of them there are. All I can do is do a crossover, a step back. Oh, we're cheesing. I'm snatching back. Oh, I'm about to die. 